Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Scott from the Nerds with Aptitude Podcast coming at you today with another toy review. It's been a while, and I apologize for that, but today we're going to review uh, something new that just came across my door today. Uh, we've got the articulated, super articulated Voltron action figure with sounds and lights. Oh, yeah. And the, the legendary lion scale. Uh, so, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey nerds, so uh, usually whenever I do these things I also kind of like to do a bit of an unboxing too, uh, but I also like to go through everything first to see just how difficult it's going to be to unbox it, and these were going to be some seriously tough toys to unbox, so I just went ahead and unboxed the first two just to get a handle on it, and the reason why is they're all tied in very tightly with these um, with these zip ties and there's a lot of twist ties in there but they're really tightly on there so if you don't unbox these just right super easy to break them and trust me they're too expensive to break the black line alone was 30 bucks uh, so anyway I'll just show you what the packaging looked like uh, this was the packaging for the super articulated action figure uh, it's got 15 plus phrases and sounds it's got ultimate posability and it really does have great posability um, the, uh, it's just a really cool figure. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what said figure looked like. You saw it a bit in the preview, but, uh, this is it right here. Um, it is pretty tall. It's about, uh, with the wingspan and everything, I would say it's about 16 inches tall. It didn't actually give me a size and I haven't measured it. So I apologize for that. But um, the head moves up and down, and it, it twists and turns like so. It's on a ball joint. Uh, it does have light up. The eyes light up on it. Um, the arms are articulated, super articulated. They go all over the place. The wrists turn. Um, the mouth on the Red Lion is spring-loaded, so it holds the... Uh, it, it snaps back pretty easily. The Green Lion now, on this one... Uh, his head does not twist, and I, I couldn't quite figure out why until I realized that there is a projectile. Uh, you hit the button once, uh, it's the button right here on the side. You hit that once and the mouth opens, like that, and then you hit it twice, and of course there's a missile that I just flung across the room. So um, then you've got the legs, which got your hip joints. It, uh, they, they go out and they rotate like so. They also have a swivel in there, so you can swivel that. Uh, the knee is nice and articulated as well. You have foot articulation too. The, the feet rock back and forth like so, and they pivot in and out as well, or up and down. So he can really strike just about any pose you need him to. And then he's got the pretty cool sound effect features and light up features. Uh, let's see if we can hear some. Yep. Guys, hang on! I'll make him back off! Let's see if I can freeze these guys! Let's light this thing up! Fire lasers! Hold it right there! And there you pretty much have the uh, idea of what's happening. Uh, so it is a, uh, it was a $40 action figure, which, considering the fact that the lions don't come apart but it does have this super articulated posability it's and it stands pretty well too uh of course i can't get it to stand right now because i gone and jacked them all up but um it's it's a pretty good value considering what you get i'm, I'm not a big fan let's of, cut the galra down to size let's cut the galra down to size um i'm not a big fan of projectiles and stuff but it's a pretty cool figure nonetheless so oh also his wings they move as well. They go around, they expand out, um, they go back like so, do all sorts of things. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, enough about this guy. Let's move on to the Black Lion, shall we? Now the Black Lion, he came in this box right here, and he was damn near impossible to get out of the package. 
uh, a lot of scissors um, and a and a cutter, a box cutter too, to get him out of there. Uh, so anyway, full color. He has 50 phrases and sound effects that he ha that he makes. Uh, he is the centerpiece of the 16-inch volt combinable Voltron, and uh, full four-color box. Lots of descriptions on there. Um, he, <laughs> I love this part. He come. He includes. Shiro with the speeder, which I'll show you that Shiro momentarily. Uh, but I got a little excited whenever I'm like, oh, there's a Shiro in here. And I'm looking, I couldn't quite figure out where the Shiro was. I thought maybe it was inside the line, but no, he was there. I, he was just so small, I couldn't see him. So anyway, without further ado, let's pretend I'm opening this up. And here we go, Black Lion. So that's, it's a really cool action figure, actually. Um, again, with the superposability, the uh, wrists move, the knees move, the shoulders move. Uh, also, the wings on top move. Um, I was kind of bummed out that the tail doesn't turn. It just goes up and down a little bit, but it doesn't twist or turn or anything like that. You'd think it would the way it's built, the way it looks, but it does not. Um, let's light this thing up. Let's light this thing Fire, up. Lasers. So a lot of the same sound effects and uh, on this one that there are on the superposable one, um, but the main difference is this one is of course combinable. It doesn't look quite as cartoon accurate when combined that the super articulated one does. Uh, now as far as the Shiro figure goes, the <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's got this stomach piece right here that you hook your finger in there and you can open it up. And then this little sled right here pops out. And I don't know if you can quite see that. I'm trying to keep it in frame, but that's it. This little sled right here, and that's that's your Shiro pilot. He's in the little chair there. You can't tell because it doesn't look like Shiro. It just looks like a piece of molded black plastic. But that tucks in to this little slot right here. It's kind of goes in like so, like that, and then closes up. And there you go. There's your black lion. And uh, okay, so black lion. Yeah, I'm not gonna combine them just yet because we're gonna open up the other figures and take it from there. But before I take up the, uh, before I open up the other action figures, let me show you what they look like, okay? So I'm gonna set him aside. Uh, we have the green lion here. And he comes with a little little pidge and a sled there, so that's pretty cool. Um, he's got a fire vine beam that shoots out of the rocket pack that attaches to his back. He also has the uh, shield already attached to him, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that is Green Lion. We've got Yellow Lion with Hunk. Little Hunk down there. Um, again... He's got this pack that shoots a fire armored disc launcher, or it is a fire fire, uh, fire armored disc launcher that sits on his back. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the cartoon. I don't remember if he had this hulking monstrosity on his back, but um, it apparently comes on and off. So if he does, great. If he doesn't, cool. Um, either way. And yeah, that's that. Then we've got Red Lion with Keith, little Keith is in there, that little sliver. Um, he's got that really cool uh, fire magma beam that attaches to his back. That one, I like the design of that, so I, I don't mind that one at all. Uh, he also comes with the, the uh, blazing sword, which is, strangely enough, between the lion's legs. Um, so yeah, and I guess the uh, you collect the green lion and red lion to form Voltron's sword. So this is just part of the sword. The other part is with Pidge. So that's the red lion. And then we've got the blue lion uh, with, uh, shit, what's his name? Uh, it's, I don't even remember his name. Why can't, why do I never remember his name? Uh, Lance, Jesus, what's wrong with me? So there we've got little Lance in there and we've got, he's got this large blue weapon that attaches there. I think, let's see, what is that? That is, Fire Ice Ray. So he's got a Fire Ice Ray that attaches to his back. It's pretty cool looking too. They all have projectiles. I'm not, a, like I said, not a big fan of projectiles, but um, you know, why not? A little play added value. 
Uh, now these figures, I got them at Target this morning. They were only $17.99 plus tax. 5% um, off if you use your Target red card. But of course the blue or the black lion, he was $30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time. I'm going to open up these packages and uh, we'll go through them one at a time and then we'll build the thing. All right, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Um, I kind of lied. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the lions here for you just so you can see what you need in order to open it. So as you can see, I've already got the red, blue, and the green lion open. Um, very cool figures, but before we get on with that, let's go ahead and open up the yellow lion. So here we go. Here is the yellow lion uh, in the packaging. Uh, I recommend because these things are these things are zip tied to hell in there. So what I recommend is a good pair of scissors, and it will cut down your time. It'll cut three quarters of the time out, and you'll have your toy a lot faster. Plus, I've already heard online a lot of instances of people just being really impatient and breaking into these things and literally breaking the legs off the figures. So. I can definitely see where that would happen if you are impatient. Don't be impatient. Grab a pair of scissors and just slow it down a little. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and open them up. Tear it right off. So there we go. Each figure comes with an instruction booklet and a catalog right here. I'll get to the catalogs in a little bit as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, what I recommended again, a good pair of scissors, and uh, I would attack it from the back side because there's a lot of extra space back there. We've got, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like just seven zip ties on this one. Not quite as bad as Black Lion. Black Lion had almost 15 holding him in, I believe. So here we go, just a few snips. And get in there. It's a really weird kind of twist tie too. The red anyway, front over it. Okay. Uh, there's another one here. There's another one up here. Oh, there we go. There goes the backpack. This is the backpack. I think I have all the rest of them all. Nope, I missed one. See, son of a bitch. These things are everywhere. You gotta be careful with them, because if you don't, you will break these ankles. These are not sturdy toys like the ones we used to have when we were growing up, if you're one of us old farts. <clears throat> and then uh, let's get Clink out of there. He's got his little hovercraft. Neat. And then uh, these little discs that he shoots just pop out like so. So at least those weren't held back by twist ties. All right. So there we have it. We've got four discs in the backpack that shoot said discs. A uh, little hovercraft and a hunk of a lion. Yellow lion. Lions all have multiple articulation around the legs. They've got their knees, they've got hips showing. How come that those things are little knees? I might need to tighten that down. They also have ankle articulation. Okay, so now we're all prepared to assemble Voltron. We have the uh, left leg yellow, right leg blue, left arm green, and right arm red. Okay, so we are set to try and form Voltron. Godspeed to us all. All right, here we go. So the cool thing is they're supposed to make sounds whenever you have the black lion turned back on. So we got the black lion turned back on. There we go. Confirming black lion is on. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert the yellow lion first. Put 
black hole and squirt it through the yellow lion's ass. This is not safe for work, Sedna. Whatever you say, Shiro! Okay. So that was punk. Black hole related to the blue butt. too long, he'll start yelling at you because the other lions start assembling. Um, but we're going to try and beat him to it by combining the red with the black. The um, arms are cheering. Red lion, ready for battle. Good to have you back, kid. <laughs> the uh, arms are very difficult to insert or remove. So last time I tried it, I actually did get a shot, but I ended up flinging yellow lion across the room. Hopefully not too bad. From days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe. Until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe.